From the depths of our planet to the jewelry we wear, we are surrounded by a captivating world of natural stones. Gemstones, minerals and rocks, though often used interchangeably, are distinct entities, each with their own unique characteristics and formations. Their stories are intertwined, painting a fascinating picture of Earth's geological processes. Understanding the differences between these natural wonders allows us to appreciate the complexity and beauty of our planet. It's a journey into the heart of Earth's history, revealing the secrets hidden beneath our feet. Whether it's the sparkle of a diamond or the rugged texture of granite, each stone has a story to tell. Gemstones, prized for their rarity, beauty and durability, are the stars of the mineral world. They captivate us with their brilliance and colour, making them highly sought after for jewellery and adornment. From the deep reds of rubies to the vibrant greens of emeralds, gemstones possess an allure that has fascinated humankind for centuries. Their value is determined by factors like clarity, cut and carat weight, with the rarest and most flawless specimens commanding astronomical prices. Gemstones are found all over the world, often in specific geological formations associated with volcanic activity or ancient riverbeds. Diamonds, composed of pure carbon, are perhaps the most famous gemstones. Their exceptional hardness and brilliance make them the ultimate symbol of love, purity and enduring strength. Formed deep within the Earth's mantle under intense heat and pressure, diamonds are brought to the surface through volcanic eruptions. Their journey from the depths of the Earth to the jeweler's display case is a testament to the immense forces that shape our planet. The discovery of diamonds often sparks a rush of excitement and economic activity, transforming remote areas into bustling mining centers. Rubies with their fiery red hues and sapphires renowned for their mesmerizing blues belong to the Corundum mineral family. These gemstones have been treasured by royalty and nobility throughout history, adorning crowns, scepters and other symbols of power and prestige. Their vibrant colors stem from trace amounts of impurities within their crystal structure. Rubies get their red color from chromium, while sapphires owe their blue hues to iron and titanium. These gemstones are found in various parts of the world, often in metamorphic rocks formed under intense heat and pressure. Minerals are naturally occurring, inorganic solids with a defined chemical composition and a specific crystal structure. They are the building blocks of rocks, providing the Earth with its diverse geology. From the common quartz to the rare gold nugget, minerals are essential to our planet's makeup. They are formed through a variety of geological processes, including crystallization from magma or lava, precipitation from water and transformations under high pressure and temperature. Scientists have identified over 5,000 different minerals, each with its unique set of physical and chemical properties. Section 6. Quartz, the common mineral with uncommon beauty. Quartz, one of the most common minerals on Earth, is a fascinating example of the diversity found within the mineral kingdom. Composed of silicon and oxygen, quartz occurs in a dazzling array of colors, from clear and colorless to pink, purple, yellow and brown. Its versatility and abundance make it a valuable resource for various industrial and technological applications. From watches and electronics to glassmaking and construction, quartz plays an essential role in our modern world. Its piezoelectric properties, meaning it generates an electrical charge when subjected to mechanical stress, make it invaluable for timekeeping devices and other technological applications. Section 7, Feldspar, a mineral family with many faces. Feldspar, a group of minerals that make up nearly 60% of the Earth's crust, are essential components of igneous, sedimentary and metamorphic rocks. They are characterized by their two directions of cleavage, meaning they break along smooth, flat planes and their abundance in various rock types. Feldspar are used in the production of ceramics, glass and porcelain. Their presence in soils contributes to the fertility of agricultural land. Understanding the properties and distribution of feldspar is crucial for geologists studying the formation and evolution of the Earth's crust. Section 8. 
Rocks, a symphony of minerals. Rocks, the solid aggregates of minerals, are the fundamental building blocks of the Earth's crust. They are formed through a continuous cycle of geological processes, including weathering, erosion, deposition, burial, and uplift. Geologists classify rocks into three main types, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic, based on their formation and mineral composition. Igneous rocks, like granite and basalt, form from the cooling and solidification of magma or lava. Sedimentary rocks, such as sandstone and limestone, are formed from the accumulation and cementation of sediments. Metamorphic rocks, like marble and slate, are created when existing rocks are transformed by heat, pressure, or chemical reactions. Section 9. Understanding Earth's Composition Understanding the differences between gemstones, minerals and rocks provides a glimpse into the intricate workings of our planet. Gemstones with their rarity and beauty remind us of the preciousness and diversity of Earth's resources. Minerals, the building blocks of rocks, highlight the fundamental components that make up our world. And rocks, the solid aggregates of minerals, showcase the dynamic processes that have shaped Earth's surface over billions of years. By studying these natural wonders, we gain a deeper appreciation for the complexity and beauty of our planet, inspiring us to protect and preserve its treasures for generations to come.